there are many stories about implants, hormonal uh, contraceptives. There are many side effects. There's a lot to think about. But after weighing my options, I went for the rods. Now, these rods are like matchsticks. The double rods? Yes, yeah. double rods. They're the length of a matchstick. A bit slimmer. And it's matchstick. plastic. Yes. What kind of matchstick? No, not not the new, not that, not that, mm -hmm. the old matchstick. Okay. So we're talking about give or take this length, mm. right? But this as thin. I'm is just somebody is reacting there that. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference? Slightly. <laughs> not of course, as, as as I mean, not as fat, of course. Not as but fat. Slimmer but than a matchstick. Slimmer than a matchstick. Yes. This long and that long. Okay. And there's two of them. It's a double rod. So it's placed under the, the skin. upper arm. Yes, yeah, so it's placed at the upper arm, depending on what arm I use my right. So it's placed on my left. If you're a lefty, it will be placed on, on your, your right. right. Now, I had a friend who has the rods. So it's you, you literally feel them. It is very close to your skin so that it can be taken out. Because if it's too low, it can travel. Okay. Sometimes this thing breaks. And apart from that, even if it doesn't travel removing it might be a problem so the the low the uh, when it's underneath the skin it's always best and it's so close that when you touch it you can actually see the rods and feel the rods now the way the rods function is they secrete a hormone called progestin oh, into your system so it flows into your system and then it does its work it thickens the mucus from the cervix things out the lining so it's it's a wonderful Ovulation, at times so, and then ovulation. it stops exactly. So it's a threefold. So the the mucus secreted is thicker, which affects the sperm, the lining, and then of course your ovulation. So you are. I felt comfortable that no matter what happens, we are good to go. So you always like to have your arsenal fortified <laughs> oh, because yes. oh, it's ninety nine yes. percent with IUD that you settled exactly. for exactly ninety nine percent for. The and implant, easily, I didn't want implant. To, that's right. I didn't want to be distracted. With I didn't want to thinking, thinking several times, which is what a lot of women deal with. Exactly. <sighs> you know, I, I I know of somebody that she would just be thinking. Her husband says she would do like twenty <laughs> tests. pregnancy tests. <laughs> <laughs> if the home test kit does not fit, she say let me go and do blood test. She's always apprehensive. I can, you know, I like can one, am I pregnant? I am I not? That. Do I, you know, one? So that was something you didn't want, but you did not only wish it away. You did something, I did something about, about it. it. You took I made, responsibility. I made a decision. But were you apprehensive? I was because because the reviews, stick that you are double the reviews when, the reviews. Where it bits, it gives you something to think about. You know the the side effects. You have to think about it. But also, the issue with contraceptives is you will never know how oh. far it affects you or it will affects you. What symptoms you may suffer until you try it. How heartbreaking can that be? It's extremely heartbreaking, especially with the drama I had to deal with. So talk to us. I had settled. How long did you have the implant for? Uh, for two years. For two years. Yes, I had the implant for two years. And it was a roller coaster ride of two years. In the beginning, I had no idea what was happening. I assumed I'm a new mother. I've got an infant. I have a toddler. I don't have a nanny. I was always exhausted. Now, I rationalized. I'm not sleeping well. I have an infant. He's been, he was colic. Then he was teething. Then there were all sorts of dramas, little temperatures. So I just figured, I'm a new mom. This is how it's supposed to so be. So that's how you kept on rationalizing. That's how I kept on rationalizing. When you say now, tired, how tired were you? Bone tired. I feel like I had literally been carrying rocks. My bones... My body, my back, everything was aching. You know when you have really bad malaria and your body is hurting all over? I was that tired. And this was how you felt every day. Were there days it was this better? This is how it... Now, I was tired. Let's, let's put it this way. I was tired constantly. I was exhausted. Bone tired where I cannot move. I will just lay down 
in cycles. It was how often it was later cycles? I realized two weeks before my menstrual cycle, my symptoms were crazy. I was extremely tired. I would sleep, I would go to bed at 9 p.m. I would wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm exhausted. I feel like I was working in my sleep. Wow. I wake up and then I had a headache that became part of me. I have a history of migraines, but in my late 20s, I stopped having migraines. When I used the implant, my migraines returned. And the frequency, it was really bad. Constant allergies was affecting my immune system. I was stressed. It wasn't helping. The allergies was adding. So it was a whole mess until I started to hyperventilate and I had no idea what was happening. I couldn't breathe. When I'm seated, I feel f I, I'm breathing, but it's not deep enough. I'm not getting enough oxygen. I can't lay down. My breathing cuts off entirely. Now, and at this way, while we're dealing with all this, it didn't occur to you that there was some. Did it cross your mind? It did not. I completely, I completely forgot about. I, I, I felt yes, it had side effects, but I had no idea that all this, because I assumed the stress of the babies, my allergies. My responsibilities. Other responsibilities, you know? other and things. I, you know. I, I thought all of that, but I, I did not know predominantly it was the side effect from, from the country. So from all the... that breathing ended, I ended. I had no idea, but I was having an asthmatic attack. Wow. I got Before then, car. have you have, did you have I have a... never, I have no history of asthma. I have never had to use Eventoline before. And I drove in that state to the hospital. When I was taking my vitals, the nurse said, you are, are you having as, an asthmatic attack? Where is your inhaler? And I told her, I'm not asthmatic. I don't have an inhaler. And she looked at me like I was irresponsible. They had to nebulize me. They put the, the machine on me. And the doctor said two sessions. After two sessions, it was not any better. And finally, when my airway was cleared, the doctor sat with me and started to ask me questions. What's your routine like? He said, look, your level of exhaustion is really bad. Hmm. He said, you need to rest. I said, how do I rest? I have a two-year-old toddler, and I have a newborn at six months. And there's nobody wonder there are people that have 10 children. You know, and, you, you know. and that, is one of, that is one of the things I told myself. You cannot be tired. There are women in the corporate world who just finished three months maternity leave and are back. There are women who are on this contraceptive who are doing nine to five. Mm. There are women who are home who have four children. You have only two. So it can't be just And thing. constantly that's what, because from experience, that's yeah. what we tell ourselves as exactly. women. From people that have counseled with, that's what they are being told. However, it looks as if the reaction this woman has is different from it's the reaction entirely, that woman it's has. It's entirely different. At, that, at this point in time, I would have taken the cup of tea any day, any time, over what I was feeling. <laughs> it was... You see, so when I talk about the fact that you like the adventure... So it was... It's, it changes. Unfortunately for us as women, we are not kind to ourselves. We're not forgiving. We look at other women. Now, like I, I mentioned the trainer. She's a physical trainer. She does exercises with that implant, without... And I have a friend who had the cup of tea and suffered yes. with it. Yes, the her same, cramps, yes. Yes, her cramps were unbearable. Her flow was nasty. She took out her cup of tea after a couple of weeks. You know, so we react differently. And unfortunately, you will never know until you have used it or mm. you are using it. Mm. So in this conversation with the doctor, the guy said for you to have... My, now, I had an infection in my re respiratory system from the onset of all the battery of allergies. He said, you need to rest. I said, how do I rest? You need to rest more. You need to eat better. You need to exercise. I said, how can I exercise when I'm exhausted? exhausted. He said, it will help the system. So I added, I found a way. I looked at my routine. I did drop some things. Mm. I dropped some things and I started to exercise. The exhaustion got worse. So I started changing exercises. I started changing programs, the kind of exercises I did, the intensity I did. And it still the never norm, crossed your mind. It's still... You know, I went back to the doctor and the conversation, how many children, are you sure you are not pregnant? 
And then I laughed. I said, I said, what I have right here cannot, I can't be pregnant. You know, so why am I so sure? And I told him about the implant. He asked me how long I've had the implant. And at that time, it was over a year already. And he said, it's too long. You should have normalized by the sixth month. What are your symptoms? And I told him, he said, look, we may have to look towards taking it out. So, I so went, that was the first time he crossed your that mind? Was that was the first time. I went home, Pastor D. I went home. I had the leaflet. I had the pack. And I have, it came with a card that shows when it expires and what date and when you had to take it out. I was meant to take it out in 2021. I looked at the leaflet and as I read through the side effects, every single side effect. As you were reading through and seeing the side it was, effects. It was a blow. And remembering it what was, was going through your it head. It was a blow. First of all, I could not believe it. Did you feel As I stupid? Read, Did I, you feel you had been cruel to yourself? I was annoyed with myself. I was mad at myself. And then I started to pity myself. Because as I read, when I read dizziness, I would wake up and I would stand and almost fall. I'm disoriented. If I'm seated for a long period of time, I have to consciously think about it before I get up. So as I was reading headaches, dizziness, I struggled with my weight. It was part of what made me upset because I've been physically active most of my life. But at this point in time, I struggled with my pregnancy weight. I couldn't exercise. I tried and I'm exhausted. And those two weeks before my cycle starts, it was terrible. How the old was, did it have any effect on your cycle as well? My cycle was fine. In the beginning, I stopped bleeding for a while. I was grateful for that. It was, I mean, it was, it was, it was a good break that I didn't have to deal with that while I had the baby. Then the cycle returned. Same thing. There was nothing fantastic. It was heavy, not as painful, but same flow, and it was constant. Now the challenge with it was two weeks prior to the flow. All my symptoms, the exhaustion, and the most important thing was my hormone. I would be extreme. I felt my emotions at higher levels. Mm. I would be so sad. You know when you give somebody a, a, a sad, a sad news, and that overwhelming feeling from head to toe it covers you. And then I'm sitting down and I feel sad for no reason. For no reason. I am. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to see anybody. I would go to bed, send off my children, and hide under the covers. Hmm. I didn't want to come out. Nothing. I lost interest in a lot of things. I would only do it because I have to do it. Get in the car, pick your daughter, change your son's diaper, feed your So like a robot. So like a robot, I was doing everything. Now, those two weeks, everything was magnified. And then when I get, I was extremely irritable. I would snap at my children. I would snap at my husband. And there were some times where he has to protect himself and them from me. Did you ever feel like a monster? I felt I had failed on many levels. Mm -hmm. Because even though I felt those things, I still judged myself harshly. You possibly can't be the only woman yeah. to wear an implant. Mm. You possibly can't be the only woman to have a newborn. You cannot be the only woman with this level of workload. If they say there are side effects, it can't be this bad. You yes. should be able to control it. Yes. You should be able to do something about it. I had absolutely it. no control over the side effects. I had absolutely no control over my body. Because my body did what it needed to do. The irritation, the exhaustion, the migraines. And after, I, after the flow, I feel better. Okay. For one week. Wow. Yes.